In this video, we're going to look at three-digit left-to-right subtraction. And it sounds like it might be a mess at first, but I think you'll realize that this is quite, quite feasible, quite doable, something really to worry about. So what if I had 658 minus 417? In this, in this scenario, of course, notice none of the numbers here are the digits are larger than any of the digits here. So in that case, there's no borrowing necessary on any level. And in fact, this problem is quite easy. We take 600 minus 400 to get 200. 50 minus 10 is 40. And then 88 minus 7 is 1. We add these up to get the total difference of 241. It's really easy to think about, right? Because 658 minus 400 is our first step. Then we take 10 away, and then we take 7. 658 minus 400, this is another way of thinking about it. All I'm doing is saying, instead of each individual digit, the whole top number minus each part. This becomes easier to think about, right? 658 minus 400 is 258. Then take 10 and 7 away. So this is going to give us what? 248 and then take 7 away to get 200, oops, 241. I just wanted to show that there are really two different ways to subtract from left to right. The first where you subtract each individual place value, right, 6 and 4, 5 and then 1, then 8 and 7, or the second where you take the whole first number and only break apart the number you're subtracting, which in this case is 400, so we're breaking into 400, 10, and 7. So we're breaking apart. And that works out quite nicely. But what do we do when you have to borrow? How do we deal with that? Um, well, let's look at that right now. So the next example, what we're going to do is take 647 and subtract 598. So notice now that the 9 and the 8 are larger than the 4 and the 7. So we'd have to do some borrowing, typically. Um, but one way one way to deal with a problem like this that, that looks really nasty is to, to, to try to find a complement or to try to find a number that's really close to 598 and again avoid borrowing. So in this case right here I'm going to say well what's 647 minus 600? Now 600 is only 2 away from 598, right? 598 plus 2 is 600 so I rounded it up to a much nicer number in other words, I found a complement to 598. Oh, and what's this? Well, that's just 47. But, but really, what did we do? We took too much away. We took 600 away, and we only needed to take 598 away. The question is, how much more do we take away than we should have? Well, that's 2. We took 2 more away. So to find the real answer, we add back 2 to this difference. This is too small. So 47 plus 2 is... 49, and that's our answer. So notice we avoided borrowing by finding a number that's really close to 598, subtracting that, and then adding back the difference. Let's try one more with that technique. What if I did 768 minus 499? And this seems nasty, but in fact, this is even easier. I could think of this as 768 minus 500. That's really close to 499. In fact, 499, right, plus 1, that is 500. So by taking 500 away, I can think of 700 minus 500 as 7 minus 5 is 2, or 200, and then there's 68 left over. I can think of this difference as being too small. We took too much away. We took 500 away, and we were only supposed to take 499 away. So as this number is too small, we want to add 1 back. Right? The difference is too tiny, and that is 269, our answer. And again, this can work the other way, which is, what if I had 721 minus 400, 432? Well, now I have to do a lot of borrowing, and it might even become more confusing with left-to-right subtraction, but I can think of this as what? What's 721? minus 400. So now I took 432 and I rounded it down. Well that would give me 321. But what do we do now? 
Well, 400 is not enough. We didn't take enough away. In fact, we would have to take 432 away, which is 32 larger than 400. So that means we have to take away another 32 from this amount. We didn't take away enough. Now, this seems difficult, but we can keep going. If we to take 32 away from 321, to avoid borrowing, what could we do? Well, we can break up 32. I'm going to break it up. Into what? Well, 321 is 21 above 300. So let me break up 32 into 21 and what? Well, we need 11 more, right? To take a total of 32 away. First, we take 21 away. And why is that nice? Well, 321 minus 21 is a nice 300. And then you have to take 11 more away. And you can picture that answer almost, right? 300 minus 11, what's that? What's 299? And that's our answer. So here, right, I'm rounding 432 down to 400. I did not take enough away because I rounded it down. So I have to take the difference away, which is 32, another 32 away. I should have taken 432 away, because I only, and I only took away 400. So, the way I did that was to take 32 away from 21. And again, I want to avoid borrowing. So I broke up 32 into two parts. I broke it up into 21, because I knew that would get me from 321 to 300, and then 11 more. To take a total of, this is 32 right here, away from 321. So, so in, all these, in all these problems, I'm able to avoid borrowing by finding the complement. So in the next videos, we'll look at some common complements. Thanks.